Hello fellow engineers, this is Kirsch Mackey and I'm doing a short video on how to uh, do copper pours on your PCB. So I have a buck converter here and this is my ground plane. I'm going to show you how I make this ground plane and how you can make any plane or a copper pour for any net. So I'm going to delete this and to do your copper pour you just go to uh, shape add or you can choose uh, shape polygon and choose the active class and subclass to be etch or top and top for the subclass now the net name is by default set to dummy net so just click on the ellipses here and click on let's say zero then okay zero is my ground plane type is line 45 degree and all right let's do this I'm going to place and click my ground plane. And there's a power side to the board and a digital side to the board. I'm not doing this uh, completely properly just to show or demonstrate how this works, of course. But this is how you would, you know, you just click around the board to make your um, shape. And let's see here. Click here. Okay, uh, this is fine. <laughs> it's definitely off, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna zoom all the way in to click right here. All right, so that makes the ground plane, and the, there's one point of connection for the digital and the power side. Then right click and choose done, and this is on zero. So everything that would be connected to ground will be connected to this uh, ground plane. Let's say you have a power plane you want to place. Just do the same thing. This shortcut shape is shape add. And I will change this to something like 12 volts. And just place the polygon just like you would any shape. Oops. All right. OK, almost there. Just make this one last connection and there we go so that's the color for the 12 volts and you know you can change the color just click on the shape and then right click and then you can um, you can do a couple of things let's see the net hmm, assign color so you can assign it like a dark red if you want uh, and notice that the other nets the rats nets they change color I change the rat net or connection color for my feedback uh, output voltage and blue is for my for my ground so it's really convenient uh, and also if you have the shapes uh, global, global dynamic parameters you can update to smooth if there are out-of-date shapes you just want to make sure that that's checked and then it gets updated and then you'll see that that would fix an issue where you don't see a connection for pins or pad stacks to the plane you just placed all right uh, that's how you place the planes. If you want to delete them, just choose the delete or you know edit uh, delete option. Highlight it, click it, right click, choose done, and you get to delete it. It's easy as pie, and that's all. Thanks for watching.